Holy Father, I pray not only for them, but also for those who will believe in me through their word, so that they may all be one as you, Father, are in me and I in you. Hi friends, this is Reflections for the seventh Sunday of Easter, assuming that on the 40th day of Easter, you were celebrating the Ascension as the Holy Day of Obligation. Of course, you know where you are and who you are that had to do that. So there will be a separate video for the reflection for Ascent, for the Sunday of the Ascension. So that will be coming up very soon. Just look through my news feed, even if you have to stalk me or look at adorable animal picture, uh, videos and pictures. All right, let's break this down. In the end of this gospel from John, there's this beautiful prayer from Jesus that says, Righteous Father, the world also does not know you, but I know you, and they know that you sent me. I made known to them your name, and I will make it known, that the love with which you loved me may be in them, and I in them. I think what we have to understand is that, especially in wake of what we have been through the past couple months with some of the most violations of, if our, of human dignity, whether it's the Ukraine, whether it's the recent shootings in Texas, or even the daily homicides that happen in major cities. Even I want to add one more thing to it. The total number of abortions that happen daily, and that is roughly 2,400. What we have to understand is that Jesus is with us in the good, the bad, and the ugly times. And even in that, that beautiful prayer at the end, that there are people that don't know Jesus, but in the end, they will know him because of the example of others. You see, friends, we are called to forgive. We are called to extend that act of charity. We are called to extend that act of mercy to others. It's not going to be a walk in the park. I can promise you that. But in the end, you are called to share that gospel. You are called to be a loving example. In the first reading from Acts, we see the example that recounts the martyrdom of St. Stephen. And as he went into the city preaching, people didn't want to accept it. They didn't want to know him. And one by one, they started, they, they dragged him out of the city and they stoned him. And who was there? St. Paul, but at the time he was known as Saul. Eventually, Saul becomes Paul. And he starts preaching the things that he once preached against to the whole to different churches of Corinth, Galatia, Rome, Thessalonia, Ephesia. The list goes on. What we see here is that we have a calling in life, and that is to be a saint. That is to live out God's example to others and share in his message. As we also see in John in the second reading, Revelation, that Jesus is the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last. My friends, this is the time for faithful followers of Jesus to share his word. Are you ready to do that? Take that first step today. Yes, you will be persecuted. Yes, you will be hated. Yes, you will be canceled. But guess what? One person knows what it's like to be canceled. One person know what it was like to be persecuted. One know what it was like to suffer and die for the faith. And that is our Lord and Savior, our Creator, our Alpha and Omega, Jesus. Take that first step, my friends. Take that first, take that leap of faith. Be bold. Be not afraid. May God bless you.